If time and money were not an issue, would you travel more? Well, that's the question Jackie asked, and you responded. Hi, my name is Dan Liberto, and Jackie and I, we are passionate about helping busy families transform their lifestyle through travel. So what do you think the answer was? It was a resounding yes. But here's my question. Here's my challenge, really. Was that just an excuse? Was that just something you say? Do, is it real? I mean, do you really, did you really mean that you would travel? And if the answer to that is yes, then my question is, why would you let time and money keep you from traveling? See, I think we can all agree that we live in a big world, and it's a beautiful world. It's absolutely a beautiful world. And what, what are we supposed to learn from it? Why are we here, and what are we supposed to learn from this beautiful world all around us? Well, I think the beauty that surrounds us is really the fuel to help us tap our dreams Tap those things that are internal to us, those things that make us smile on the inside. I think that's what it is, because this world has so much diversity. We talk about diversity. There's diversity all over the place. There's diverse cultures. There's diverse languages. There's diverse people. There's diverse ways of doing things. If you don't believe that's true, try to do something with your wife, <laughs> your spouse, because they're going to look at it a different way than you do because we're diverse. We're uniquely designed. We're different. And so to find out, to really explore, to discover these differences, you got to go beyond your neighborhood. You got to go beyond your house. And I recommend you take your children because in exploring all those different cultures, you're going to find you're, you're actually going to change your perspective perspective on a lot of things that you believe are out there, a lot of things you believe are true about life, well, you're going to see different perspectives. And in a lot of those perspectives, because you've never seen them before, they're going to change your mind. Let me tell you a quick story. When Jackie and I originally got married, she was a flight attendant, so she already had the travel bug. Me, on the other hand, I'd been, I'd been on one flight. I'd been on one flight. It was when I was 18 years old. They put, or maybe 17. They put me on an airplane and sent me to Midland, Texas. Midland, Texas. Can you imagine that? That was the extent of my travel experience. So Jackie and I, we get married and she has a layover in Fort Lauderdale. So she calls me and says, hey, I got a layover in Fort Lauderdale uh, tomorrow evening. Why don't you jump on a plane and come out? We'll have dinner. Yeah, that's right. It's exactly what I said. You know, you're, you're newlyweds. You're saying, okay, what do I say? This is, I, how do I tell my new wife that's crazy, right? But as a, because I was a newlywed, I did exactly what, because I thought it would be something that would please her. So I jumped on the airplane and I went to Fort Lauderdale and we did have dinner and I came home and it was a crazy idea, but it was a crazy idea that showed me a different perspective. And in that different perspective, I was able to, capture and hold on to that travel bug because that was something I absolutely wanted. I compared the Midland trip to the Fort Lauderdale trip and I said, okay, not all vacations, not all travel is created equal, right? And so a lot of this diversity that we're talking about, you don't even have to go out of the country to find that diversity. In fact, you don't even have to go out of your state. I mean, we live in the state of Texas, and it is absolutely huge. We've got diverse landscapes. We've got mountains. We've got oceans. We've got hills. We've got trees. We've got plains. We've got everything. Uh, but, but so there's a lot of diversity. So you don't have to go too far to experience this diversity and to, uh, to, to start to change your perspective about different things, right? And so why would you let time and money hold you back. So here, I got a challenge for you. If you can, if you can trust that if you take your kids out of school for a few days to go and learn about the big, beautiful world, to learn different lessons than they're going to get in school, if you can trust, then you're going to be blessed with a powerful experience. If you can trust 
that while you're gone from work, they won't replace you in the week or two days or three days that you're gone. They won't replace you with somebody else. They won't find that somebody can do your job better. If you will trust, then you will be awaken to some amazing, amazing discovery, some amazing learning that you aren't going to get sitting at your desk in the office. If you can trust the managers that you put in place in your business to operate things for just a few days while you go with your family and you experience bigger and better things in life, then you can follow up with this challenge. And here's what I have for you. We're going to find out whether this is really an excuse or whether it really doesn't make a difference. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to find a trip. I want you to book a trip. It doesn't have to be a, a, a you know, if money's an issue. You don't, if you don't have to, t it doesn't have to be a long trip. It can be a trip you drive to. So drive to the location, whatever the place might be, book it though. And what I want you to do is I want you to commit to no work. You're just going to spend time with your family. You're going to start seeing a different perspective in your family. You're going to start transforming your lifestyle. Second thing I want you to do is I don't want you to just eat at the hotel and eat in all the tourist places. I want you to immerse yourself in the local uh, experience. I want you to go where the locals go. And if you don't know, which you may not because it's a different place, ask. Find out where the locals go and go there and experience life as a local. And then the last thing I want you to do is realize the gift that you just experienced. And then I want you to create a second savings account so you can start saving for your next vacation. Dan Liberto here, my wife and I, Jackie, we are passionate about helping busy families transform their lifestyle through travel. I hope this was helpful. Number one, book something close. Number two, immerse yourself in the locals. And number three, start saving for the next experience. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.